Hello again, Peter here. Well, uh, just here in my uh, basement office and playing with a new toy, this Dyson Life Cycle, Light Cycle, Bicycle Light. <laughs> and I was wondering if the light was powerful enough to charge my watch. What do you think? Can an indoor light charge a solar watch like the Garmin Instinct Solar? Let's find out. Here we go. Shh. So here's my thought process. I'm down here working in the office, and I'm thinking, well, you know, if I were to use my mouse left-handed, well, get an even mouse pad. So if I'm using my mouse left-handed and this fancy bicycle light, what's it called again? The Dyson, I'll throw it up on the screen. So if this is pretty close to my watch, will it charge? Let's take a look. So right here on the Garmin Instinct Solar, if you click the down button, it opens up the solar intensity widget and you can see just barely we're getting some light. So let's try moving it closer. Okay, so right now we have the light about two feet away. So this light's really cool. If I just gently touch it like that, well, it turns off. <laughs> if I gently just touch it with my finger, I can move it down and watch what happens as we get closer with the solar intensity. Oh, 10%. Getting hotter. And we can crank it up to maximum brightness by just touching this little lever. Now we're at 60%, oh, 70. And now if we just gently, so again, I'm just gently touching it, getting closer, 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 boom, 100% solar. And you can see over the last five minutes, I've gotten a charge. So let's try this. We'll exit out of here, do a long press, and we're currently at 67% and 10 days. And when I charge it, whether it's outside or indoors, I quickly go to control. Here, let me back this up a little bit. Let me do some nice white light. There we go. So when I charge it, I hold down the control button to go into the menu and I turn battery saver on. Click. So that disables pretty much everything and then automatically it's saying my battery life is infinity, meaning it'll last forever. So now I do a long press, it still says 67%, pretty close. Now I realize yeah, this isn't the most effective way to charge your solar watch, but it's fun because I can, I can be in my basement and still charge my watch. So now if we click the down button right there, that goes to the solar widget, which still works. It looks like it lights, it looks like it likes the other light better. But we're in, oh no. So whether I do white light or orange, it doesn't really matter. It likes both. Let's see how close we have to have it before it loses the 100% solar intensity. Oh, looks like it needs to be about six inches, maybe more like five. And don't worry, Stay Puffed is going to protect the watch so no eagles break in through the basement window and... Anyway, I'm just teasing. Okay, well, let the test begin. It is 2047. I'll come back in an hour. And one thing you need to do on these Dyson lights, you want to make sure you disable the motion sensor. So right now the motion sensor is on. I'll turn that off, go back to the solar widget, verify we have good power. 
It usually takes the solar widget just a few seconds to register the sunlight as it runs some lines of code. Come on, solar widget. There we go. 30%. See you in an hour. All right, so we last left our watch a little over an hour ago. Let's see how much it charged from an indoor light. Okay, proof is in the pudding. Sixty nine per cent. Well, that's pretty good. So now, if we take this out of battery saver mode, eleven days, sixty nine per cent. Here, let's see if we can get some better lighting. There we go. That looks better. 11 days, 69%. So the answer is yes. 2140. 2149. 69%. 11 days. So there you go. We turned on the Dyson light and I looked at the name, my apologies, I just got this today. The Dyson Light Cycle LED, that's what it's called. And yes, just like Garmin says on their website, it charges indoors under certain light conditions. Now, I thought they said incandescent, this is definitely an LED light that's charging it. So interesting, right? Well, there you have it, a positive test case, if you will, in my QA world. If, if the specs are there, you have to prove it, and we just did. A solar watch will charge indoors. And that's all I have today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this watch, pithy comments down below, and I'll have another gadget review sometime in the next seven business days. Good night, goodbye, and let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid.